Yay! Uh, there we go. There it is. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Perito Visenya Bun. Thank you so much for subbing. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, welcome to Saturday Morning Duger, which is actually Saturday evening Duger yeah. for us because I'm in England right 6 now. 6 p.m. <laughs> um, yeah. Welcome. We decided to do a stream together because for any of you who don't know, we're engaged. <laughs> it's, it's so, so weird to say, but so exciting. Um, so yeah, he popped a question a few days ago. Uh -huh. Like yeah. literally the day I got here, which was awesome. And so yeah, so we decided, hey, we'll do a stream together. We were gonna do a coffee time, and I actually uh, got yeah. just kind of a bad stomach ache. Um, got real sick. Yeah, I got real sick. So we decided. To wait and uh, do kind of a Saturday morning duger instead. Stephen Flannery, thank you so much for becoming a new Pareto. Thank you for joining us today. I haven't sub sound. Really I'm sure. I'm sure that's true. It's even loud for us. How do we turn that down? Uh, Can we just do yeah. that? We're just going to mute the cat sound. We're just going to mute it for now. <laughs> Let's right, just... we, can do this. we can like do this. Yeah, right there's that, that too. Let's, turn Let's right. make it really low. Yeah. It's like not loud at all. Um, so yeah, we're gonna play some Until Dawn later, yep. but we figured you guys would probably have lots of questions and stuff, uh, and so we guys, made- Guys, you like my Christmas present? <laughs> I, is... I bought his whole family terrible sweatpants. I go, Pete, Pete's a pen. And the entire mm. time, mm. Kinematic Echo, thank you so much for subscribing. Mm. Um, the entire time Sam was like, just don't be upset if they don't want to wear them because they're very weird. And I was like, I know. I said they would like them though. You said you would like that they would like them, but they might not wear them. Um, and his mom wore hers literally all day, which was awesome. She was like, I'm never taking these off. They're the best pants ever. Although to be fair, they're covered in Ryan Gosling's face. She kept making the lewdest jokes. She just, all day she just kept saying, I've been sitting on Ryan Gosling's face all day. <laughs> mom. Please. It was it's Christmas. So funny. I with your children. It. Oh my god, wait. This is still so loud for this us. This is killing me. Because it's still coming out. Wait a minute. It's coming out. Alright. Wait, so new where's it coming from? New X split. New oh, X split? Yeah. Is that is that really the problem? No. Oh my god, it won't stop. <laughs> We're having a snail. Thank you for subscribing. Any subs mm. that I missed, I'm sorry. Thank you. Huh. Where's it coming from? I don't know. Where's it coming from? Just mute everything. Mute all of it. All right, I think I got it. <laughs> I think I got it. Okay. I think we got it. Um, but yeah, I got her uh, Ryan Gosling trousers, and I got... Um, his sister's popcorn and fruity pebbles, which they don't have here. So they were like candy. And I was like, sure, they're candy pants. Yes. Yeah. And then um, Ray Jim or Ray JM11, thank you for becoming a new Perito. You just noticed the sweat. Yeah, this is my other Christmas present. <laughs> I got him an Opie sweater. And he was like, to be fair, you're probably going to wear it a lot. And then today I was like, I'm feeling kind of cold. Can I wear the Opie sweater? <laughs> The best bit was just for the for like earlier today, you were like, you have to wear the Oppo sweater on stream, and then about ten minutes before we went live, you were like, hey, can I wear this? Can I wear the Oppo sweater? Because <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> and I, no, to be fair, I said, I'm cold. Can I wear the Oppo sweater? But if you're cold, you should wear the Oppo sweater, and I'll wear something else. Yeah, but I'm not cold. And then, I know. This is the land of my people. Yeah. So then it wound up, you know, working out. And People if you like, get cold eventually. She can't really show you the ring because. I mean, I can't. wouldn't do it justice. You really, like, it's. Guys, this ring is gorgeous. Like, I'm so happy with it. But I feel like it's, it's hard for you to see, like, how awesome it is on stream. Um, basically, so Sam. Sam proposed to me without a ring because he was like, I booked us an appointment to go into, like, a private jeweler. 
It wasn't and, even a jeweler, it was a diamond specialist. Yeah, and the, and uh, and then you will get to make your own ring because I want, like you're gonna wear this ring for the rest of your life, right? So kind of want you to wear a ring that you really love. So we went in there and I literally got to like build the entire ring and mm. I've been so happy with it. And Sam was like, I'm really glad that I did that because this is not the ring I would have chosen for you at all. Like I would not have known any, like that you, preferred any of this so yeah so i'm really i'm really happy with it but the the like big stone is so pretty it's so pretty we keep looking at it and just being like it's so sparkly it sparkles so much it's great so it's flawless it's flawless so i love it i'm i'm absolutely in love with the ring, diamond but i'm obviously way more just excited to be engaged. Like I would have, I would have been happy with any ring, but I'm, I'm really happy that the it's ring is acceptable. perfect. I'm, I love that the ring is perfect, and that you know, that my love is perfect, and that it all came together. <laughs> She's so. not really thinking straight. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for any of you who keep asking how Sam proposed, do you want to tell this story? Or do you want me to tell the story? You can tell it. You want me to tell it? Mm hmm Okay. It's kind of embarrassing if I tell it. Why? It's so cute. I don't know. Sam made me a game. He uh, he made a, a text adventure game um, that had lots of bad ends in it that were really <laughs> funny. But um, the story was about two, two starship captains, would you say? Mm-hmm. Who, uh, who meet each other and... Um, wind up, you know, having to, to guide their ships in op opposite directions, but they keep in touch and they fall in love. And then um, at the end, Sam's character in the game is like prompted to say something and then you click the next button and then there was nothing there. And I just like looked to the side and Sam had knelt down next to me and I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> And he did his speech, and it was so sweet, and I was sobbing. I sobbed, like, for basically the rest of the day. All right, here's a tip. All right, if you ever <laughs> are going to propose to someone, don't plan a speech. I planned a speech, and then, like, by the time I'd hit the ground, I'd forgotten, like, half of it. <laughs> he was like, it I've went, been planning this speech for a it month, went and I totally forgot out the window, all of guys. It. All right, don't fucking do that. <laughs> it, was, it was a shit show. It was so... It was perfect. Like, I... Like... From my perspective, it was so, I did not see it coming at all. And then when I, when it was like the screen with nothing there and you were next to me, I was like, ah! <laughs> and then just sobbing. And uh, and the second that like, like once I had said yes and I had cried for a while, he was like, do you want to call your mom? And I was like, yeah. And he like already had his phone, was like, here you go, call him up. And so I called them, and I had been crying so much that when I called my mom, mom didn't know it was you, she thought it was a cold caller. Like, because huh? she didn't recognize the number, and then it was just like my blubbery voice going, "Hi, mommy." But, she was but then like, I, I did say, like, what kind of cold caller would start with "Hi, mommy"? But I think I think it, she literally didn't know what I had said. I think that I was oh, that. All right, yeah, that makes you know, sense. But you didn't know that they knew. I didn't. No, yeah, I was like, do my parents know? And he was like, yeah, I called them a while back and, and told them that I wanted to propose. And I was like, ah. And then I was like, wait, did Aaron know? And he was like, yeah, Aaron knows. I was like, ah. <laughs> um, but I had yeah. to do market research. I had to ask people. Yeah, it turns out a bunch of people knew. <laughs> um, TB and Jenna knew, mm -hmm. Krender knew. TB is actually the one that helped me make the game. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you told me that. Because he sh he showed me the software to do it. Yeah. So, yeah. And both of my parents were like, he said all the right things. He's a great guy. We're so happy for you. You guys are going to be so How happy. How long did it take you to make the game? Uh, like a week. Yeah. Even Krender knew. I know. And somehow, no, like, he didn't reveal it. <laughs> Because I said I would kill him. <laughs> if you say anything, I'll literally snap your back. Crendel's really good at just not giving people information anyway. That is true. 
It's like is actually, very good at misdirection. It's actually, He's like the Kuroko of our friend group. Yeah. It's actually a chore for him to go out of his way to tell you that information. He would rather just have it and have no one ever ask and just him. Exist and he never with has it. to use it. Yeah. What software? Uh, the software I used is Twine. And I made like a text based choose your own adventure. It was awesome. It was so cute. It was like halfway through it, I was like, oh, it's like paralleling our relationship. Like, like the whole thing. And then at the end, I was like, oh, it all makes sense. <laughs> it all makes sense. <laughs> I also like that in the game, I like saved you from a weird alien monster, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You saved my life. I did. That's why you didn't see the speech coming. I know, yeah. I was like, oh man, I did it. I saved him from a weird alien. You have to be the hero, right? <laughs> Otherwise the game sucks. <laughs> it's true it's true there was um one part of the game that totally misled me where um it said like either go out <clears throat> it was either go out and find you or search your ship right yeah and i was like well obviously if i search the ship sam's gonna die so i'm not gonna search the ship and then later we were going through all of the ends that i didn't see because there was a bunch of the game that i didn't wind up seeing <laughs> was sam stressed out before it let me fucking tell you <laughs> all right when you're in a long distance relationship and you've decided you're gonna marry someone two months before they get there <laughs> and then you've got to speak to them every day and pretend that everything is fine. <laughs> yeah, I was a little bit stressed out, man. <laughs> if I missed a few streams, I apologize. I was uh, I was a bit stressed out. It was funny because um, like the whole week leading up to me showing up, Sam had said things like, are you sure you don't want to come out earlier? Like I'll even, I'll pay for it. I'll, I'll pay to have you come out like a couple days earlier. And I was like, Sam, God, you can't just wait like a week. I have so much work to do. Could you just chill out? And he was like- She was so mean. <laughs> she was so mean. I like, no. we, we would like plan to hang out and she would like stand me up to see her friends or like stand me up to like make videos and be like, well, I haven't seen them in a while. Or like, I just want to get this video done. We I was would, like, we would fuck, make... if only you knew. If you go back in time, you would not, you would feel like such a dork for treating me like that. <laughs> Where to go? Oh my God, especially, oh my God. The best one was um, the night that Overwatch was going down. And like, oh my God. and Sam and I had, had talked about having like a little Skype date that night. And I was like, sorry, Sam, like, this is my last chance to play Overwatch. And she he was like, are you kidding me? We had planned a Skype date and I had been looking forward to it for maybe three days because we don't get to Skype that often. I and felt so bad. She straight up stood me up for maybe like eight hours, just like turned her phone off and just played Overwatch all night. <laughs> this was so like, uh, and I'd like already asked her parents at this point. And I was just like, wow. <laughs> like, Considering my options here, <laughs> like considering just pulling out, <laughs> it was so mean. It was I'm so sorry, mean. I know that was. Like, I would never the do worst. that to you in a million years. What are you talking about? You have totally stood me up to play games before. <laughs> yes. No, if we were li when we lived in the same house, <laughs> not when I'm eight thousand miles away and want to hang out with you a little bit, and I'm gonna ask you to marry me, and you're like, no. "Fuck you!" I'm playing Overwatch. Stop being a needy bitch. I'm like, okay, all right. Cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ooh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Everybody's like, but it's Overwatch, Sam. I'm sorry. That one was Aaron and Jeannie. Uh huh? You like blew me off hard to hang out with Aaron and then Jeannie. That's true. And I was like real upset. That was all the same day. Mm -hmm. That was all the same day. You were like, I'm really busy today. I can't hang out with you. And then I found out you went shopping with Erin and then spent three hours hanging out with Jeannie. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> we hadn't like, to be fair, we had said in the next couple of days, we should totally hang out. And then I had said, oh, well, I'm busy today. And you found out that me being busy was me hanging out with other people and then playing Overwatch. And you were like, fuck this. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So. I guess, you know. I, I got told off, and I felt really bad. I'm sorry, and I love you. <laughs> Guys, treat your boyfriend good. <laughs> treat your partner good. Treat your partner well. Because you never know if they've planned to propose to you <laughs> if in a few weeks' time. A couple of people have asked in chat whether or not I had considered um, proposing to you. 
which is funny because we just talked about that last night. He was like, honestly, I was kind of worried that you were going to propose to me first. And I was like, I had kind of I had like been thinking about it. I, I had totally been thinking about proposing to Sam. Um, but I was like, well, what if he's been thinking about proposing? Like, I would feel bad if Sam had planned this whole big thing and then I ruined it by like proposing first. So I was like, I'll wait. And then. How does that work? This is what I didn't know either. Like, do I get a ring? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I prob I I don't know what I would have done, right? Like, how does it? I it's just I'm yeah. Like, I could have given you a ring. I could have given you like a dope ring with like cool stuff on it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I just be in these. I've never seen, guys, when you get raw almonds in England, they come in like the shell, but the shell has been softened somehow? They boil them so they to soften the shell. So like when you get raw almonds in America, you just get the almond, but here it's like the almond, but in a soft shell. So this is my first time trying to open up a soft shell almond. <laughs> but Sam, you got pizza pants? I did get pizza pants and an op eye hoodie. I feel strong. Yeah. But bored with your power, obviously. Yeah. Just so so bored with are your these, strength. Yeah, these are my new pizza pants. I was told I had to wear them for the stream. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he came out in like normal sweatpants. And then, to be fair, I had forgotten about them. <laughs> you came out and you were wearing these pants. Or not these, you were wearing the normal pants. And you were like, or do you want me to wear the pizza pants? And I was like, oh! <gasps> you were so happy that you did this thing where you kind of like just spaz in the chair. <laughs> like, yes, like, yes, please, yes! Please wear the pizza pants. Just like, please. Your body just has involuntary movements when you're happy. It's really weird. I was so jazzed. <laughs> Will a wedding be streamed on Twitch? Um, n no, I don't think so. Uh, not in a million years? No. Um, what we have talked about doing is maybe live streaming it, but only for like our really close friends who aren't able to come. Since that is like a technology that exists, like being able to go to our best friends who aren't able to make it. Because that's like the, the big obstacle that we're facing right now with getting married is we both want kind of a small wedding, um, but one way or another, one of our groups is gonna have to travel or the entire group is gonna have to travel. Yeah. So trying to figure out like, well, where do we wanna get married? How do we wanna get married? How do we get people there, <laughs> etc. But life's just throwing us wrenches. I know, but we found each other. <laughs> You're so done with me already. I'm not. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh my gosh, chat is moving so fast. Have two weddings. We talked about having two receptions. You don't seem like super into that idea though. My family are like, my family are totally down for a road trip. I know, but like your bestos aren't. Like I think it would be really hard. Yeah, they to are, if I get enough notice. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. Okay. Cause I'll be sad. If like all of your best friends from here are like, I can't, it's like a lot of money to go to Merca. I mean, I'll try and pay for as many people as I can. Mm. That was Blood Bowl. <laughs> what's flashing on the left? Oh, it's probably the lights, yeah? Those? Uh -huh. Maybe. I have Christmas lights up, sometimes they flash. Yeah, the first night that I was here, I like opened my eyes and it was straight out of some sort of a slasher film where you could just see like lights just flashing really fast. I was like, uh, <laughs> Sam goes, oh, it's a Christmas light. Spent like a week trying to make this house look nice. It's so cute. The first thing she says on the stream is his house looked like something out of a slasher film. No, it looks adorable. I was just saying the lights that one night when mm. they were like flashing. It's happening now. Yeah. I'm going to turn them off. <laughs> no, but they're so festive. <clears throat> <laughs> the house looks adorable. Sam worked very hard 
to have like cute stuff around and it's real it's real good. I'm not good at this kind of thing. You are. Oh, you shit. are good at it. <clears throat> what? Decorating? Yeah. Mm. I mean, you have no inclination to decorate, but when you want to decorate, like I've look, I've never put together a Christmas tree. So mm. this is like so impressive to me. <laughs> like being able to have a Christmas tree up and putting up lights and stuff. I've never done any of that. Sick. So you've impressed me. The, nice. the, the Christmas Grinch. <laughs> I've impressed the Christmas Grinch. Yeah. It didn't take much. <laughs> Just one of these. Yeah. Yeah, this was a pretty good, pretty, pretty good thing. <laughs> I'm into it. Oh, by the way. How the oh fuck my am I going to top that next year? I've set the bar too high, guys. I've set the bar too high. It's just down. I've got to get you saying stupid like this next year. It's the only way. Oh, the best part of Christmas was when his mom was like, oh, can you give us just weird gifts every year? And I was like, she made you the designated weird gift person and you started crying with happiness. I was like, it was I Sam calling. and I was like, this is what I wanted. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's like your life's ambition to be the weird gift giver. I was so happy because originally, Originally, I was like, I want to give everybody weird slippers, but it turns out that it's actually really hard to give people weird slippers. They don't exist beyond the like, I don't know, like fluffy animal slippers. And I was like, I don't, I don't want to do that kind of weird. I want to do this kind of weird, right? Sam, when so. did you know you should go through with it? Ah, uh, I wanted to ask her for ages. Aww. But uh, I didn't want. Her or other people to think that I was asking her because we had like visa stuff. So then I was kind of like sitting on it thinking how to do it. Yeah. And then we had a big period where I, we didn't see each other for like two months and it like killed me and I was like, I'm done waiting. <laughs> I don't want to wait anymore. So yeah. then I just planned it. I spent like a month trying to plan it. It was perfect. And then, yeah. And it, we nearly messed it up though. Why? Because you got hit. Because like I had a window to do everything. Oh, and then I fell asleep. Because I booked a private appointment <laughs> with a diamond specialist to have you build a ring, and it was for the next day, so I had to ask you that night, and we fell asleep and woke up at like 10 p.m., and I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot to ask you. But I helped by accident. I wanted to give Sam this Opai sweater so bad that I was like, can I give you one of your gifts, please? And he was like, yes, but you have to play a weird game I made. And I was like, okay, cool, awesome, we'll trade. And it wound up being perfect. <laughs> People are asking about um, living arrangements. I think Sam is going to come back to the U.S. for a while. Uh huh. Um, I'm going to save up. We're going to save up some money and try and get a cute house. Yeah, because I'd I'd really like to. I'd really like to come and live here eventually. Um, Work-wise and everything, it's hard to leave right now, but both of us are interested in having a family. Um, Have you rewatched the video where you told everyone you were dating me? Uh, I've rewatched, I've rewatched like a clip of it before. Ryan made us that really cute montage. Mm hmm he did. So I watched that part of it. He did. But. Shipman yeah. has to get Dodger a new bomber on their anniversary. See, this is an issue because I would actually have to pay someone to create a new bomber model because she owns them all. <laughs> See, that's hard. <laughs> that's hard. You got... But yeah. We're, uh... We're excited. We're excited to just kind of figure it out. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. So, we're both really, really happy. I'm, I've been on cloud nine for like days, so. 3D printed bombers? Oh, that's so smart. Oh, oh, oh so genius. Good thinking, man. Although now it's totally ruined. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll be like, oh, I can't wait for that 3D printed bomber that you're totally gonna make me. <laughs> You'll custom, be like, a custom uh, bomber. Uh, uh huh. <laughs> yep, <Yeah>, totally. <laughs> Don't you look like you're drowning in that hoodie? That's because it's a stripping size hoodie. Yeah, it's because it's for Sam. Oh my god, when I, because Sam's entire family is giants, I was like, okay, I need to make sure that these sweatpants will fit them 
because I swear to God, if I give them all sweatpants and they wind up being sweatpants for ants that go up to like their knees, I'm gonna feel really bad. <laughs> but I think they fit everybody. I was so happy. I took an old pair of his pajama pants and measured them. It was good. Mm -hmm. Trippin', what about JP? Look, JP was, uh, JP and TB were the guys that actually helped me put together the. <gasps> That's right, JP knew too. JP actually. Everybody knew. Everybody no, knew. No, no, there's only a few people. There's only a few people. Yeah. I told Erin like last minute because I didn't trust her. Yeah. I waited till she went back to Nebraska <laughs> for Christmas because I knew if she was in your presence. The second that we made eye contact, I would be like, Sam's proposing, isn't he? Yeah. I just, <laughs> I just know. I couldn't. I wouldn't. I didn't tell Jeannie. I didn't tell Erin. I was like, I'm not taking the risk. <clears throat> yeah. Not taking a risk. <laughs> yeah, I fucking genie, no chance. I had no idea. I couldn't tell genie. Genie would have given something away. And I totally thought that genie knew too, because like after I had calmed down a little bit, I was like, oh my god, genie had been asking me about rings and kept saying, oh, she kept making <clears throat> this joke that I was never coming back. Like after after I came here to visit, that I was just gonna stay in England forever, and she was like. We really need to have a Skype date before you go to England forever. And she like kept saying that. And so I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm a goddamn lockbox. No way, Jeannie. <laughs> Your face tells a thousand tales, man. I couldn't take the risk. Um, so when I first quit at <clears throat> Maker, um, everyone put together like a big uh, going away <clears throat> I'm not going away, but like, just a big party, like a goodbye party for me to stop working there. And um, I didn't see it coming at all. Jeannie was actually like really good at keeping me out of the loop. She was like, oh, we're gonna go to Will's house and play some board games. You should come. And I was like, ah, I don't feel like it. She was like, I mean, but it, it, I mean, you haven't been over in a long time, man. It would be really awesome. You probably should like come hang out. And I was like, uh, I'm really, I don't think so. And she eventually got so fed up with me that she was like, look, we're throwing a party for you and you need to fucking come. Okay. I was like, okay. And even knowing I still sobbed, like the second I walked in and saw everybody in there, I just like bawled. <laughs> when was this? Years ago. And this is why I couldn't tell her. <laughs> No, because Jeannie wasn't in charge of anything. I think I think Jeannie would have been good. Alright, I just didn't want to take the risk. <laughs> I know TB's a lockbox. Yeah, TB didn't give anything away. Did Jesse know? No. I feel like Jesse wouldn't give a shit either way. I don't think Jesse would give a shit either. So that was He's no been enjoying him. tweeting about it though. Yeah. You're tweeting at us about he likes, things. He likes to tweet being like the negative Nancy because he knows people will favorite his tweets. <laughs> yeah. Trying to ride that wagon. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. Um, what question? Hmm? Then answer the question in a bit. What question? I don't know. <clears throat> Oh, you quit maker? Yeah. What color is your hair gonna be for the wedding? Oh my God, M his sister Molly, that was like the first thing she asked me. Cause we all had dinner after we got back from London and like getting the ring. Um, and yeah, everybody was like cooing over the ring and I was like, yeah, it's so pretty, oh my gosh. And then Molly was like, wait, what color is your hair gonna be for the wedding? And Sam got like really protective and was like, Whatever color she wants, Molly, God. And Molly was like, whoa. Because <laughs> my family like poked fun at it. Like, oh, her hair's Everybody's always such been a like, oh. Her hair's always crazy colors. And I was oh, like, anyone makes a joke. Hair, huh? Anyone makes a joke. I'll eat my life. <laughs> I just felt it. I felt it was coming. <laughs> G-Mart, did I know? Of course I knew. Wait, knew what? <laughs> yep. Yep, G-Mart. <clears throat> oh, that's what I wanted to say. We, we released a new emote today that go yeah. together. So there's strip love in all caps and do glove in all caps and they go together. They're, they're based off of Nozaki-kun. Yeah, 
It's a couple emote. Mm-hmm. It's really cute. I love it. Um, Sam's emote emote bay. Tina did it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really, really cute. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> really cute. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was such a good idea. Was that your idea? Yeah. The Nozaki can emote? Mm hmm. Yeah. It's it like a little scarf. He's wearing a scarf and then it wraps around me. Like, we're both wearing the same scarf. It's adorable. Uh huh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> How did he propose? I missed it. You'll have to wait until I upload this section and then you'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever think she'd say no? Uh, no. I knew she'd say yes, but I was really worried about <clears throat> fucking up. That's what I was worried about. Yeah, because we had, I mean... Here's some advice. If you're going to propose, be pretty sure they're going to say yes. Like, don't just, like, do it on a whim. Yeah. Because, like, it's not really, like, great for either person if they say no. Well, we had had lots... So just, yeah, we talked about it. We had had lots of conversations that were, like... I'm pretty positive I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, like, like, and we had been, we had talked a lot about just planning for our future in general. So I think both of us, it was like obvious that we were both on the same page. It was just, you know, yeah. I knew I wanted to marry you. Yeah. I just wanted to, A, make sure it was a surprise and you didn't see it coming and B, make sure it was good. Yeah. I thought it was perfect. Nailed it. Love it. Sam, can I play a game? No. <laughs> it's just it's just for her. It's so cute, guys. You'll never get to play it, so I just want you to know it's so cute. <laughs> as a as a broadcaster, uh, sometimes it's nice to have things that <laughs> you do not Are have to ours. share with the whole world. Are just ours, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that this was supposed to be one of those things. What punch? Yeah, it turned out we didn't need any uh, any walk-in music for trivia last night. I was kind of bummed. Yeah. People wouldn't have got it anyway. They would have been really confused. I know. So, like, Sam's whole family does um, a very competitive trivia night on Christmas every year. Um, and last year, I was, like, it was a bit more low-key last year. But I think that was good because I wasn't quite as... I wasn't quite as ingrained in the family where I felt like I could really argue very hard for things. Mm -hmm. And this year, there were a lot more people and everyone was going real ham because we were robbed. We were robbed on so many questions and I was so angry about it. Yeah. I was like, no, this is bullshit. Oh, and I had had just enough honey jack. Like, yeah, oh, to get some sass. I had had a lot of Prosecco and some honey jack and I was just like, are you kidding me? Yeah, we got robbed. Yeah, like one of the questions was, um, name all eight of Santa's reindeer. We named all eight of his reindeer plus Rudolph, and she was like, no. She like wouldn't accept it. Even though there are nine reindeer. We were like, we, we included gave, all eight we gave of her the reindeer, eight reindeer and like his- And then said, just in case, here's also Rudolph. And yeah. she said, no, you get the question, you don't get a point because you put Rudolph down as well. That was bullshit. Also, then, the ping pong one. The ping pong one. It, the answer it was. It was during like sports. three, three uh, top players, and then the question was: uh, these three players are professional players in which sport? And the answer was table tennis. We wrote ping pong, and we, we put were ping like, pong. They're the same thing, and she was and like, we "No." Did, and they wouldn't give us. She wouldn't give us a point. It's like, Bleh. oh, and then Monet. She described a painting, and I was like. I know who painted this, Monet. And she was like, it's not his full name. If you didn't put Claude Monet, you don't get a point. I was so angry, I was so angry. It was, it was bad. And then we came last. And then we came last because she miscounted our points. I got so competitive. Sam was like, wow. I was worse than him the by the time, end. I was just like. The whole time. Dodger kept saying to me, if you get really competitive, I won't judge you. I know that's what your family's like. Like, I won't judge you. And by the end, not only was she worse than me, but then 
She looked me in the eyes and she said, we are never doing this again. And I said, doing what? The Christmas quiz? And she looked me, then the eyes and she said, no, losing. <laughs> this is the most competitive thing I've ever heard come out of her mouth. We are never losing again. <laughs> so and I was like, wow, all right. <laughs> this is yeah. real Dukes. That was real that Dukes. Was, that was my deep down, my deep down six year old self. <laughs> That was that was that was six year old Fight Club Dodger. She had been reborn. I am like, never losing again. Fuck this. Um, <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> it's just good. But originally, <coughs> she's so sweet. She's so sweet. But there's this there's this thing deep down in there. Yeah. It's a fighter. <laughs> Tiny little gremlin. It's a fighter, and it hates to lose. Um. Yeah, and we were all told that we would get walk in music for each team, and we were like. Pfft. We know what music we want to walk in with. And Sam goes, uh, actually, maybe the One Punch Man theme song will be uh, a lost joke on this crowd, considering we're the only people who watch anime. And then they were like, oh, don't worry about it. It's just the winners from last year get to walk in. We're like, oh, good, good. And that was the, you know, that was, that was the moment Whoa. when I got too jazzed. I was like, wait, so if we win, we get walk-in music next year. And then we came last, and I was like, "Boo!" <laughs> so angry. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it anymore. Just let it, it happen. It's gone. It's over. It's over. We named all the reindeer. We did. We named it, all of them. It doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter anymore. It's not fair. Let it go. It's not fair. Let it go. <laughs> Has Dodger tried chocolate oranges? Of course. First time I was here, I tried chocolate orange. And actually, yeah, every every year for Christmas, your uh, grandpa and nan give give us uh, chocolate oranges. So they do. I always wind up with more of them. <laughs> They're good though. I love them. How do we meet? You want to tell that? Sure. We met because um, Jesse and Aaron and I. <laughs> We're all going to be in England for uh, GemuCon, which mm -hmm. uh, only happened for one year. But um, <clears throat> yeah, we were going to be in town for GemuCon, and we decided to turn it into like a big England trip with the three of us. And uh, we were like, well, obviously one stop on the trip has to be to visit Yogg's. Um, so we went down there for like a... One day and one night. I think we only stayed in the hotel for one night. Mm -hmm. But we came down early in the morning yeah. and hung out and recorded some stuff. If you've ever seen the gif where both Jesse and Simon are rubbing their beards on my face, that's from that. <laughs> that was that trip. Um, and I remember so vividly meeting Sam for the first time and being like, he is so handsome, my goodness. And... Uh, yeah, we, like when we were done recording everything, they were like, oh, come back later and we'll all grab dinner. And we were like, cool. And so Aaron wasn't feeling well, so she had stayed in the hotel. And I remember going back to the hotel and being like, Aaron, there is a dude working at Yogg's Cast who is so handsome. <laughs> He's like so handsome. And Aaron was like, okay. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then we all went and grabbed dinner. And that was fun. And that's when I found out that Sam was kind of a weeb because we started talking about Attack on Titan and Sam was like, yo, you guys watch Attack on Titan? And then we started watching and talking about um, Sword Art Online and we were like, yo, I took you guys to a bar online. and... Yeah, and then we went to a bar afterward. I took you guys to dinner because, like, I guess like Lewis just couldn't be bothered. <laughs> he just wasn't in the mood, even though you'd come all the way to see him from America. Well, so he, said, he came to dinner. Oh, Simon. I thought they both did. Was it only was it only Simon? It was only Simon. Mm. And uh, yeah, and then Simon you guys... and I got the same drink. And then I was like, "Do you guys want to get some fruity cider?" And you guys are like, "Oh, oh yeah. my god, that was the first time Erin had ever had cider, mm -hmm. and she was like, this is the best thing ever.'" So I she guys was took so you guys happy. to a bar, and then Jesse spent the whole night paying Yogg's car staff to like go and hit on women. <laughs> And he was just laughing at them. He was like, I'll buy you a beer if you go hit on that girl. And he would watch, like, it was like, I think it was Tutron. It was such a train And he would watch wreck. Tutron just, like, fail and then come back. And they'd be like, good job, here's a beer. And then he'd, like, drink it in one go. And then, like, as he got more drunk, Jesse would be like, all right, now that girl. It was so bad. Yeah, so I was just speaking to you and Aaron. Yeah. 
And I thought he was pretty cool. And then I walked you guys to your hotel. Yeah, you walked us back and we hugged and I was like, he's so tall. <laughs> And then uh, we followed each other on Twitter, and we mm -hmm. started tweeting flirty things at each other. And then mm -hmm. you were like, "Cause you weren't like girl. You weren't you weren't really anything like the conventional girls that did." I was like, "Oh, she's really different." Aw. So I started messaging you, and then I got your Skype. I slid into them DMs. Yeah, you you like literally went literally, into my DMs and was like, "I'm like the OG for sliding." Yo, girl, what's your Skype? And I was like, "Oh." And then we started uh, watching Attack on Titan together. Mm -hmm. Every week when it released, and we'd yep. have dinner over Skype and watch anime. And, and then I was like, I want to come see you. Yeah. And mm. the rest is history. The end. Yep. Tall and small. Yep. She ain't no basic bitch. Straight yeah. up, tall a and small. Amen, bro. <laughs> I think everyone is tall to you, Dodger. Yeah, but like, there's a specific... I judge, I judge height based on where my face is when I hug a person because I've, because yeah everybody that I meet I'm like you're taller than me so you are tall <laughs> like I can't judge if somebody is normal height it's really hard for me to tell um, but so like, you so like they're not actually tall unless they meet like a certain criteria like your face meets a yeah when point. I when I hug you my face is like right here on you so I'm like oh, very tall there's a whole like two feet of him left yeah, there's so there's so much of him above me. <laughs> How did the first fart go in the relationship? Um, I don't remember the first fart being a problem. <laughs> no. First fart around your brother was a problem. Yeah. I I ripped my, I ripped a really loud my one. My brother's girlfriend is like Dodge's polar opposite. <laughs> um and like she's never fired in front of my brother ever. She thinks it's just wrong, and he agrees that like women don't fart, and they should never fight in front of. <laughs> He's such a fool. Yeah, <laughs> but like she thinks that as well. And I I'm know like, they're I'm like, perfect for each other. Either it's she's perfect. gonna explode and die, or like he's in for a fucking shock. Does he fart around her? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. I would be. They're curious just one of those. They're that. one of those couples that like hate farts, <laughs> and um. They're both gonna explode as a result, so. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah. You came on a family vacation, and it was just you and him in the room. And I ripped a really loud one. And you ripped one, a really big fart. And he was immediately nothing wrong. picked up his phone and started like frantically tweeting the family chat, like, oh my god. <laughs> he was like in shock. He like was in actual shock. I know. He was like, oh my god, I can't believe it was so good. It just happened, but your girlfriend just ripped a massive fart in front of me. <laughs> And I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm like freaking out. <laughs> and I was like, just chill. It's a fart. And he was like, no. What? <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Yeah. You really, uh, you really, you really freaked him out. I know. It's awesome. I think he's ever been the same. Yeah. Just that realization that women can, in fact, fart. And then the very first time that I talked to George, too, George was like, so you're from. You live in Los Angeles? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, that must be awesome. And I was like, nah, I hate it. He was like, I don't. I <laughs> like, just fucking bowed out of the conversation. I was like, yeah, it's, it's like always warm there. It never rains. It's bullshit. And he was like, I don't. I can't. I don't. We don't. <laughs> like, <laughs> Everything you're saying sounds amazing to me. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, it's like his dream to live somewhere where it never rains. Yeah. So he's just like, mm-mm. We, yeah. we are not on the same page. <laughs> Can we get a just chill it's a fart t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> he did have slight PTSD, I'm not even kidding. Like he that's all he talks about for the rest of the holiday. It's pretty good. Oh my god, we have almost eight thousand people watching right now. Oh, that's just made Hi everybody! It's just made it way more embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! We just got engaged. We were talking about farts. Yeah. Yeah. Have you talked about a theme for the wedding? <laughs> I don't think that we're gonna wind up doing like a goofy theme at all. The theme is one punch. Everyone has to come as a hero. C rank to S. 
No, I'm kidding. Honey. No. Honey. No. You could no. be you could be metal no. groom. You could no. be metal groom. No. <laughs> metal groom. <laughs> metal groom. What the fuck? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I want that. <laughs> you can be Moon Man Brider. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That was good. You get to ride on a white bike. Yes. Oh my god. Yes, please. You can be Saitama. I have to shave my. I don't do that. You can just wear the One Punch Man outfit, but with a little bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> she hit him again I know I'm sorry I'm sorry honey. it's fine I've been in the gym because I knew if I told her I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her I'd have to I'd have to bulk Moving up a little bit was so good I would have to bulk up a little bit uh-huh. <sighs> Boma and Vegeta we could have a Dragon Ball themed wedding <clears throat> I don't no way. Uh, that no, 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 no way. <laughs> the animation's so bad. Absolutely not. <clears throat> Dodger's abusive when it comes to showing love. No. She's not. She's just when she gets really excited. Yes. Her body does things without her brain. Yeah. I flail. I get really you excited. You actually do flail. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If if something if if something happens and she's really happy, she her whole body will start wiggling and she can't control it. It like actually happens. Her whole body she will start going like this, <laughs> and she can't stop. <laughs> it's like the biggest giveaway. But that, sometimes but the s- biggest giveaway that I've done something right is that she like starts going like this, and I'm like yes. But like sometimes I just like do one of these, like I stop myself at that. Yeah. It's just this, and then I'm done. But it's but it, you notice it now. And you're yeah. like. Saw it's that. like an involuntary reflex. I saw, I saw that, that you do. shit. Yeah, yeah, you right. The chat, the chat can probably, but like they can probably confirm. <laughs> They've definitely seen you do it on stream. Like if something most, good happens and you most wiggle. likely, yeah. Guys, every time she does that on stream, it means she's really happy. It's because I'm jazzed yeah. about something. Or, well, I think sometimes I wiggle because I'm, I'm like terrified to do something. Like if I'm playing a game and I'm like, oh, I don't want to do this next part. I'll just like, no, I don't want to. It's a different kind of wiggle though. It is. It's like you a have r- like three different wiggles. Like you have the embarrassed wiggle. What's the you embarrassed like, wiggle? You go like in. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> you have like three different ones. I've trained myself <laughs> to identify them. We've learned. We've learned mm-hmm. them. Yeah. See that so much during Undertale? Yeah, exactly. You know. I did. You know. She's got like three different wiggles. She's got like the, I don't really want to do it. And then she's got the embarrassed wiggle and then the happy wiggle. <laughs> you see right through me. She did that when she beat Odin. Exactly. Oh yeah, beating Odin was so great. What an awesome, on, um, what an awesome Jotun? time. Mm, Jotun, yeah. Jotun. Jotun. Everybody tried to teach me how to say Jotun and I still don't, I still can't say it right. What, yo, yo, yo. Yeah. Because apparently the, like, O sound is, like, a very specific O sound that we don't have in English. What do you mean? Like, it's, it's like, it's a sound, it's an Yacht. O. Yacht. Like, something like that. But, like, it's just, it's just a, I don't know. It's, like, a weird clipped O that we don't really use. Is Sam never seeing peanuts. Uh, I'm actually never seeing almonds. <laughs> Get it right, guys? Yeah, soft shell almonds. Sam asked me what snacks I wanted in the house because we've both been eating better, so. I looked really hard for these. I know, yeah, he was like, I had to go to like eight different stores to find almonds. And then I got here and I was like, what are the, oh, they're in a shell. And he was like, they're in a, they're in a, so- they're in a soft shell. Like, it's, it's fine, right? And I was like, I, I mean, I'm sure it's fine. Don't worry about it. I never win. I just didn't know. Dank Tadpole. Dank Tadpole! We've had so many new burritos while we've been telling all these stories. Thanks, you guys. We'll read off all of the new subs at the end of the stream, I promise. I thought you met you bought that sweatshirt for yourself. Um, I feel like she bought it for us as a team. 
I bought it for you. She but would have bought plan, one for herself, but they were... They small, were out of smalls. The smalls were out of stock. Yeah. So then she pretended it was a Christmas present. I didn't pretend. <laughs> I literally looked it up for you. <laughs> so... I am going to buy myself one, though. I know you are. Yeah. Are you get a different color or are you going to get the same color? Um, I don't know. Are we going to be twins? I think this color combo looked the best. Yeah. But, but I know that on the show... On the show, the the opai part is yellow, or like gold. I think it's like, it's like, off white here, gold writing, and then red sleeves, something like that. But I thought that this color combo looked <clears throat> the best Guys, out of the ones that she of us makes. Have ever played until dawn before? Yeah, that's true. We are gonna play until dawn. This is this isn't just gonna be, sit and talk about mush. This is it's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna make you have the controller as well. The whole time. No, for most of it. Okay. If you become a wreck, I'll have to <laughs> pick up the pieces. Any of you who watched the SCP stream last year, just just flash to that, and uh, hopefully I won't be. This will be a worse because there's giant turd. This will be worse because there's quick time events <laughs> all the time. Everybody's gonna die. Probably. It's gonna be really bad. Yeah, neither of us have seen any of Until Dawn. Neither of us know, like we we know what Until Dawn looks like, but we don't know. The characters or any events that happen in it like nothing so what oh my god what i <laughs> couldn't get that one open so <laughs> throw it back in what happened to you are you okay I'm um fine. i'm fine so yeah uh it'll it'll be like a straight up blind play and we're hoping to to finish it before i leave how will you so. stop spoilers? We'll do sub mode. We're gonna switch to sub mode to avoid spoilers and i've told all my mods to uh be really strict with people who try to spoil stuff, so do not, do not spoil because it's just gonna hurt you in the end. <laughs> like, <laughs> have you guys ever thought about doing co-op let's plays? <clears throat> yeah, we have, we have thought about doing that. Mm -hmm. um, we've thought about adding in um, a stream day where we live stream together too. Yeah, co-op stream like day. That. Mm -hmm. And we might do some let's plays on YouTube. Yeah, it's gonna be good stuff. Good stuff, Ooh, everybody. Someone said there's some spoopy stuff in Until Dawn. No, it's a spoopy game? I didn't know. <laughs> we had no idea. <laughs> Spoiler, it's a game. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please. Mm -hmm. Please, don't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two player Psycho Densetsu 3. Mm, I feel like. What is that? It's Secret of Mana 2. Oh. But it was never released over here. So it's called Psycho Densetsu 3. Oh. It's a it's a co-op game. Mm -hmm. So Secret of Mana. Secret of Mana is a co-op game. Yeah. You didn't know that? I've only ever played that game by myself. It's like one of the first great co-op games of all time. What? Oh my god. And you can play Secret of Mana with another person? Yeah, you can have two this SNES... This is what happens when you literally only play games by yourself you until you're in your 20s. You can have two SNES controllers, and literally the other person can just press start and play as the sprite of the Secret girl. of Mana was three players. Yeah. What the shit? How? How did I not know that? I played that whole game, like, three times. I never my know. My pepperoni pants are amazing. Thanks, guys. I got them for him. She, for that's, this is my Christmas present. One of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got you two goofy clothing gifts and then a for reals gift. This isn't a goofy clothing gift. This is a godly clothing gift. <laughs> that's, that's why different. I love you. That's why I love you. <laughs> Have you seen the Deadpool Christmas trailer? We haven't seen it yet. It came out yesterday. Hmm? There's a new Deadpool trailer for Christmas. There is? Yeah, it came out yesterday. There is. Get the ring back? This ring? Or like a phone ring back. Do they do ring backs anymore? Ring back? On like your phone? Mm-hmm. You know how when you call me, it plays like classical music? Yeah. So that's a ring back from when I was a teenager and ring backs were like all the rage. It originally was the dreidel song sung by um, a four part harmony group. And everyone thought it was the most obnoxious thing ever. So every time they called me, they were like, fuck your ring back. But then it turned into classical music and it's never been changed. Hmm. 
No? No ringbacks? No ringbacks, guys? I didn't have a ringback. You mean a voicemail? No. Voicemail is like the, like, you have reached blobbity bloops at blobbity bloop. Would you like to leave a message? Like, this is, instead of you hearing. The only ringback I remember. Bring. Is, you hear a song. Um, my friend Richard, his family had a ringback that they custom made. And. <laughs> It's so good. All right. So my friend Richard, he's like a really, just a really just nice, like simple guy. He's taller than Sam. He's like six foot ten. He's so big. He's enormous. And he's like a gentle giant. And his family are all like nice, but they're a little bit weird. And their ring back, I don't know if it still exists, but like my, this is like my whole life. You would like call their house and it would say like, the kinos can't come to the phone right now. But if you like to leave your name in a message, and then like one of them starts like beatboxing, <laughs> and then Richard's like, uh, leave your name and number, and we will, we will call you back, no, call you back, no! and the rest of family like, boom, boom, tsh, boom, boom, tsh. and I just remember it being like the fucking cringiest callback ever, and it was like their family answer machine oh my god that's amazing it was so good no so in mine it's like if you were to call me it'll be like while it's ringing for me and it's so loud and so low quality that it just makes your ears bleed yeah it's really by then i'm dead like my hand is limp on the table and there's just blood coming out my ear and then it turns into hi this is brooke Leave me a message. Um, I hate everything. Hi. Uh, my message my whole high school life was, um, hello, you've reached the alien that has inhabited Brooke's body. I'll make sure that one of her clones gets back to you soon. And I had this one friend, Melissa, who thought it was the funniest thing in the world. She was like, oh my God, if you guys called Brooke, her voicemail message is so funny. And everybody would call me and be like, yeah, it's really funny, Melissa. And she was like, no, you guys. Oh, my God. It's so funny. <laughs> I was like, thanks, Melissa. <laughs> <clears throat> you know how, like, like I, I feel like you and I both, when we were younger, were the sort of people where if we were able to make somebody laugh, mm -hmm. it, it was, like, really fulfilling. Yeah, um, that was me. But every now and then there was, like, that person who thought you were almost too funny and, like, built you up too much. <laughs> You're just like, I'm not that you. funny. Because yeah. you knew you weren't that funny. That's yeah. why you tried so hard. I'm like, no, I'm not. Please don't. I'm not a funny person. <laughs> I just... I just try to be funny and sometimes it lands, but please don't pitch me as a also, really funny like, person. Also, like, shout on your cred. Because they would pitch you as so funny, then people would start to, like, not find you funny. Yeah. They would, like, wait for you. They would, like, yeah, expect you to be funny, and then you couldn't come in like the dark horse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't be that guy. Don't, don't be that guy. Hashtag, thanks, Melissa. <laughs> thanks, <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> she has a baby now, and it's really cute. Whatever. <laughs> That's me. Oh no. <laughs> what do you call each other in real life when you're not online? Our Bri names. Brooke and Sam. Yeah. Well, I... Stripping. Like this is my fiance stripping. It's, yeah. Why? Yeah. That's, that's weird. That would be so weird. <laughs> <laughs> to refer to the woman I love by only her online handle. That is the probably the weirdest thing ever yeah like with with just my general friends in my life it's like 50 50 it's like a 50 50 shot if they're gonna call me dodger or brooke and i'm totally cool with that because i love both names but like i, I think, have to like i think if you only called me dodger that would be weird i never do i know i have to like consciously change your name if i'm streaming with you or like tweeting about you yeah i fucked up yesterday and i didn't do it it's not like people don't know. I know. You I, mean I, when felt, you say I felt bad. <laughs> I was like, oh man, I messed it up. Yeah. Um, there are a lot of people where I don't know their for real life names. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I feel like there are a lot of people that I've known for a while. Are those, are those fireworks? Mm hmm. They're fireworks happening, guys. Um,. I feel like there are a lot of people that I've known online for a while 
and I have no idea what I their real forget, name is. Because Crendor just has the simplest name in the fucking world. Yeah. I always forget that his name is Eric. Yeah, me too. Because it's just so simple. Yeah. Um, there was one time when I was talking with Toast, and she uh, she kept like talking about Eric, and I was like, Crendor got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I'm with you. Do you know Cry's real name? I don't. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you guys. Boom! Yeah, it's it's also about, like, protecting the online image of your friends. Mm -hmm. The less people that know Dodger's real name, the safer she is. I guess so. so. I try not to use it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It also helps my unified branding, so... That's not. <laughs> <laughs> I... I... <laughs> I don't do it to help your brand. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I like that everybody's throwing like cries, like different possibilities of cries. Isn't his name Ryan? No, it's Chad. What? <laughs> <laughs> Dodger's real name is Duger. You got it, Sathias. Probably said your name super wrong, by the way. <laughs> Sorry about that. Have you ever considered that Brooke Thorne would be a great name for your Wood Elf cosplay? <laughs> <laughs> I am planning on, on changing my name to Thorne because I think that it's like such a dope last name. It's pretty great. Yeah. I think you make a good Thorne. Thanks. Yeah, Sam was like, I, I don't know what name you want to take, but it's like totally up to you. You know, you do your thing. And I was like, I want to be a thorn. That name is awesome. And he was like, all right, great. <laughs> I nailed it, chat. <laughs> Make sure you have a cool ass name because then they take it. Mm. Yeah, I think it was great. But then there's like, you know, even your sister, one of your sisters is like, I'm not changing my name regardless. <laughs> like, Yeah, but she, she says that now, but she will. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Really? She's, I mean, she's being extremely inconsiderate of the future love of her life she hasn't <laughs> met yet. Right? She's like, I don't care who it is. Fuck them. I'm not changing my name. And I'm like, well, you might not feel that way when you meet the man of your dreams and you want to have his name. I mean, but what if... Like, or lady. But there, there is a possibility that she won't no, want the name. Yeah. But, but I see what you mean. Like, you won't know until you're like, oh, that name is dope. <laughs> like, that's a, that's, a, that's a cool name. Also, like, the guy's just never... Had, he never had a shot. <laughs> like, just tell him on a first date. Like, I just, please. Fuck you. Fuck your family. <laughs> I'm a thorn. I feel like mine wouldn't work with like the double down either. What do you mean the double down? Like if it, if I had done like Brooke Lawson Thorn or Brooke Thorn Lawson, I think that sounds dumb. No, yeah. Brooke Lee Lawson Thorn. Try. You can just be a thorn. Yeah. I'm all good. I'm I'll good with that. Thorn. I'm good with that. On my mom's side of the family, um, one of the last names that stuck around for a really long time was Graves, and I was like, "God, that's a cool last name." Graves. Yeah, and I was really bummed that that I didn't get to be a Graves. The clan of Thorn family of renowned footballers, which side of the video game player stripping. Remember when we got two out of thirty questions right in sports? <laughs> Three. It was three out of thirty. Not two. Three. But one of them was you answering. So technically I got two of thirty. Yeah, I got Ukraine. Yeah. Yes. I helped. I, I mean, helped for one. I mean question I knew the answer, sports. but you yeah, I'd forgotten it. And then you were like, Is it that? And I was like, Yeah, it actually it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because what was his first name was Vladimir, right? Or Vladimir Klitschko. Yeah. Yeah. I was it like, was, where is where is he from? And I was like, we were the only people that got that right. You know that? Are we? Were we? we yeah. Everyone else was like Russia, Serbia. And yeah. I was like, no, no, no. I was like, well, I think Vladimir is a name that they use in Ukraine. Yeah, that's right. I like jokingly was like Ukraina, and you were like, yes. <laughs> Just like wrote it. You were so jazzed. Um. But yeah, basically, last night was during the sports round. 
I just handed the notebook to Sam and I was like, I'm going to leave this to you. And he was like, we're fucked. And then during the Bible round, he was like, I'm going to leave this to you. And I was like, we're fucked. We came last. <laughs> she did seven years of Bible school. My family are non-religious. <laughs> oh my God. And we came last yeah, it was bad. in the Bible fucking round. <laughs> it was just Bible stories. Yeah. Why did Adam and Eve no, some of it, get kicked some out of the it, garden? <laughs> I got those right. But you some... got Judas's name right. That was it. What? No. What are you talking about? No, you got you got some stuff right. Yeah. Don't... Come on. Um, I didn't get any. There were some questions that had to do with Catholicism, which there I... were a lot of Catholic questions. Yeah, actually. which I don't. No idea. I feel like I said this before, but I feel like your hmm. education was so strictly narrowly one religion that it might have actually hindered us in the, <laughs> in in the, the Bible round. In the religion round. I think we You know where we pulled were... it back though? Food. Food and drink. We got we got the top score in food and drink, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All those cooking shows, man. You nailed it. Yep. Felt really good about it. <laughs> I came in with courgette. You did. Yeah. One of the questions was zucchinis are better known as what? And I was like Zucchinis, like <laughs> in America, apparently courgette is not a word. Yeah, we do not. We've, I've never heard them called courgettes before. Maybe, maybe like once with you, and I just kind of swiftly forgot it. But Sam was like, "Oh, I know this." Yeah, it's from watching all that Food Wars. Sam still hasn't watched Food Wars. I haven't. It's so good. I haven't yet. It's so good. I know you think it's going to be trash garbage, but it's so good. I'll watch it with you, but I don't know if I'd watch it on my own. No? Okay. I don't know. I'd, I'd rewatch it. Okay. I'll watch it with you. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is a courgette? <laughs> it's a zucchini. It's a zucchini. They're exactly the same thing. They just have a different name. Mm-hmm. Mystery solved. <clears throat> courgette is the name for it in Canada and the UK. Is that some aubergine bullshit? Aubergines are eggplants, right? Hmm. Mm. Yeah, Greg Michelle says courgette is the French word for zucchini. And that's the word you use here, right? Because we're right next to France. No, and that, obviously that makes sense. That makes French sense. French Canada. Mm. Yeah. Man, yeah. We only call it zucchini. I'm trying to think what else has been like a, a confusing food term. Um, I found out that in England they don't ask you how you want your eggs. Yeah. Like... If you want to specify how you want the yolk, you have to like get it in there. <laughs> Just like, I want this breakfast, please. And they're like, great. And then they move on and I'm like, wait, but, <laughs> but, but wait. <laughs> Who decides on the questions? Sam's mom. Sam, how does a noble British gentleman feel about marrying a commoner from the colonies? <gasps> I don't know, if you find one, ask him. <laughs> I am not a noble British gentleman. That's my my sweet cockney babe. Yeah, I'm rough around the edges, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I love when you talk to your friends because your accent gets so much thicker. It like turns into just a slur fest to my ears. Like I can't understand half of what you say. Best thing is I can talk about you to my friends with you in the room and, and you won't understand what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, and I'll just be like, huh? That's good. I like it though. I, I like I like when you talk like that. I can't talk like that to you. <laughs> I've changed. I've... <laughs> Why but not? English like I've, p- English people have picked on me all Christmas. Because you have an accent now, apparently. Yeah. Or they, like or like a a skewed. They say I, I don't sound English anymore. American. And what am I? And I'm a freak. <laughs> there was a girl I hadn't seen in seven years, and we bumped into her in town, and she said, "Why do you have an accent? And where is it from?" Yeah, she was, and I was like, like, "What?" But, like, to me, you sound so British still. Or, like, have such a strong English accent to my ears. Can you get an example? No. My friend would have to walk in the room, and then you would hear it. Yeah. Or a family member. It's not something I can just... You've got an American twang. It happens unconsciously. Definitely a twang. Has Martin picked on you for it? No. Somebody asked. But mine's like TV. Mine's a northerner who pretends he's a southerner. <laughs> so they they like they don't sound quite right. 
Yeah, I uh, I had no idea where Martin was from. And I was like, Martin always sounds like such a stereotypical proper British person to me, or like proper English person. Mm. And Sam was like, Yeah, that's because he's yeah, from we... the north, and he made it so that his voice sounds like yeah, very. No, no one sounds like that except like mine and TV, because <laughs> they trained their accent. Can you understand Northerners? I've never tried to. I've been to Nottingham, but I don't remember hearing anybody who had like... Nottingham's quite... People come from everywhere, mm. so it's really not that bad. It's like a uni town, so a lot of southerners go up there. Yeah. Because it's cheaper. Sometime I'll have to go way up north. I've watched Ruben for a year or two and can hear the difference. Hmm. I've just been ostracized for my people. It's not a bad thing. <laughs> just, you know, I'm just not welcome. It's fine. I just don't belong anywhere. That's fine. <laughs> I'm just a nomad. You belong with me, my love. <laughs> I can't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one. <laughs> I mean, like, the very first nail in the coffin was calling rubbish trash around your mom. Yeah. I uh, said it the other day. I know. Mm, yeah, it was really. That was that was the one that they kept harping on. Yeah, I I inflect when I say really. I go really. And before, if I was English, I would just go really. They sound Ooh. the they sound the same. No, it's that <laughs> same. I know, but like. They sound the same. That would be the normal way to say it. But instead, I say they sound the same, and I go up. Oh. That's like that's like my. That's a that's a valley thing though. That's my valley girl girlfriend. <laughs> it's been like really. I'm not a full valley girl. You're like half. I'm a half. Um, yeah. I've got a, I've got the twang now. I've got a twang. You've got a twang, and we're in love, and it's fine. <clears throat> yeah, you're not you're not like genie level. Genie's real bad. Genie, you are so fucking valley girl. <laughs> that like, is it, it, it is terrifying. Um, I don't think she is. She is. I don't hear it in her as much as I hear it in like L. No. Like genie and flex up with everything she says like every single sentence or phrase ends in an inflection and she says like oh so do i i say time. like constantly yeah but i'm saying you're like uh-huh yes you're uh probably like halfway towards genie genie's ascended <laughs> she's ascended she's already well, left what made me feel better was that a bunch of my friends from oregon were talking to me and said that i sounded the same but this is the thing, because if I speak to my English friends, I sound the same. You just said that. So what? they're not they're not a good judge of character, because if you're you speaking to them... But your family can hear it. A rando girl at the nail salon could hear it. But like, you're saying specifically with your friends, you like slip into Luke, more of like a Luke, casual... Yeah. Like if I was speaking to Luke, he would never hear it. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. On the phone, when you were talking to Luke, you immediately went into like, you all right, mate? <laughs> what else did I say? Uh, that's that, that was the only one. <laughs> Just like, how you doing, mate? Right? Uh, how you doing, mate? As a missus. <laughs> yeah. That's how I know of Sam the Duga toy. What? Like the boy toy. Aww. Guys, I'm an independent human being. I have feelings. <laughs> and a personality. Yeah, it's like when we announced that we were engaged, we did it at the same time because we were like, well, let's like do the same picture, post them at the same time. It'll be awesome. And one of the very first responses we got was somebody was like, aw, Mr. and Mrs. Duger. And Sam was like. <laughs> I just turned my phone off. I was like, I'm fucking sick of this shit. <laughs> She's gonna be Mrs. Thorne, not Mr. Duga, actually. <laughs> <laughs> When's the wedding? We haven't decided yet. I'm a strong independent boy toy. <laughs> yeah, whatever. She's my sugar mama. Who cares? <laughs> Some of us gotta have one. I'm a trophy husband. Shit. <gasps> You're so handsome. That's you confirming it. <laughs> what the fuck? Because all all that 
all that being a trophy husband or wife means is that you're all attractive. Right? Shut the fuck up and look hot. That's what it means. <laughs> no. Have you never seen like any Gatsby film ever? <laughs> this means you just find a super hot. hot person who you can barely tolerate. No. That's what it means. No. It means that when we go someplace and and you on my arm, people would be like, ooh. Ooh, who's that man? That's Sam. He's real hot. And he's also my husband and a lovely person. <laughs> The lovely person comes at the end. Because by then they've walked away. <laughs> Brooke stripping. Yeah. Should take. We'll just, just tell people you're engaged to a, a playmate. Yeah. I did do that thing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Get on my level, boys. <laughs> I'm a kept man. You used to make that joke when we first got together. Yeah. Is that the wind? Yeah. That was so loud. What do you mean? Like, it sounded like... I don't know, it sounded like thunder. But I think it was just wind. Look, guys, look, guys make no mistake, I'm the alpha, okay? <laughs> Alphas. Are you gonna with me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, yeah? Like you won me over. You're such a nerd! Who's the alpha now? Don't tickle me! Don't tickle me! <laughs> I just straight up kicked the computer. Yeah, you beat the shit out of my computer. That's like really expensive. <laughs> Are you okay, my beloved? Hey, come on! Did she hurt you? Did she hurt you? She does that to me too sometimes, it's okay. <laughs> <clears throat> yep. All right, on that note, uh, let's do a break because I have to pee. All right. Then, and then we're gonna start playing until dawn. Then we're gonna play until dawn. Okay, you pee and I'll try and set it, set it up. Okay. Actually, you can't set it up. We're gonna have to try and set up live because that mage will. Thank you, thank you. I'll okay. be fine. Mm -hmm. I just gotta work out where the sound's gonna come from. Oh. Okay. So. Cool. Go! Alright. We'll be back in a sec, guys. <laughs> 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 